All right, all right. Here we are. 24th Agora Community Call. Exciting, exciting times. So much has happened this month. Thank you to all the listeners who joined in so far. Uh, excited to get this started. Yeah, so most people know everything is quite crazy. Awesome stuff. Big month. Uh, we've had four major, I think, events at this rate this month, um, from enabling IBC for Agoric to uh, the community fund getting passed and approved by the BuilderDAO, um, CEX and DEX, li- Dex listings, um, and some you know interesting uh, inner protocol launch details, and um, yeah, I think I think we should just dive right in, into this. Uh, Jesse, are you are you here? I think I'd love for you to touch on the. Um, IBC portion of this. Let's see if we can get her up here. Hello, hello. Speaking of, How's it speaking going? of IBC, it's been a very busy week. <laughs> For sure. Um, so as most folks who are tuning in probably noticed, we've had a bit of a party going on um, this week. Agoric officially entered or, or joined the IBC gang. Now, technically, Woo! technically... Friday was the magic day that the governance proposal to enable transfers on mainnet was was approved. Um, but because we've realized perhaps we should only do major work on weekdays, not the weekend, uh, our community really got uh, busy Monday on getting all of our connections set up. Um, one of the really cool things about this particular moment in the Agoric ecosystem, though, is it really is such a cool moment to be able to share with this team. Um, Agoric, when it was time to start writing the IBC spec and to start actually thinking about how the protocol would work after Cosmos Hub launch in 2019, was very, very involved. Um, I have memories of Dean and um, Brian Warner and Mark Miller showing up to Cosmos community calls to design this IBC thing. Um, we had no idea how much how they could have so much energy, by the way. But we just had this fantastic <laughs> bunch of extremely smart folks say, oh, yeah, you're doing this cool thing. We want to be part of it. Let's go. And when they decided to show up, they really, really showed up. So it was very, very cool um, to be able to see just the full story come together because that work started in 2019 and here we are in 2022 and the Goric gets to enable the very thing they helped build um, on mainnet. <laughs> so lots of lots of warm fuzzies about that. But I think probably the, the most exciting thing wasn't even just that, hey, we had to, we our community wanted to turn on something we built and, and we get to be connected to the interchain. For me, it was really watching our validators. Our validators are such an incredible group. And they really took the lead um, to coordinate all of the channel creation and the connections. They were running around submitting PRs to the Cosmos chain registry. They did all of the work to help each other out on the technical front. It was really fantastic. The first network that um, we, or the first main net that we connected to is actually Cosmos Hub. So that tiny little packet made it from Agoric to Cosmos and the transaction happened and we all had feelings. Uh, But I think I just cannot stress enough that the work our validators did um, and the position they realized that they were in to help us really become part of the interchain was fantastic. And I I cannot thank um, Emery Vinop enough for being our coordination lead. Um, he really took that role and made sure that anyone who wanted to get something set up had the tools that they need. Um, he kept everyone in line and also the other members of the validator crew who stepped up. Um, there's been so much camaraderie going on and so many good memes. And this was particularly fantastic. It was also really cool to see various members of the Cosmos community pop up. Um, you know, they made the links to Osmosis. They set up our links to Crescent. But even more exciting is we have a discussion going on about making sure that the community and our validators are around in case people who want to set up new connections need a extra, little extra help. So that's just been really, really thrilling and so much fun to be a part of. Um, we should. Can I inject yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. 
I, you know, the other, the, I mean, that, that, that thing you're talking about, the, the community step up, that's one of those things where, you know, people talk about it, but that visceral sense of, you know, it's off and running without, you know, someone would make a proposal and we're like, do we need to fund that? And boom, it gets funded by someone in the community and they're making decisions and scheduling and all the, all the people wanting to set up connections really did follow the, the, the agreed timing to make sure that it could all happen in an orderly fashion so that the connections we have out of our chain, you know, are, are this orderly set of things that are well understood by the, by the, the members of the community. And so that's just from my perspective was just amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's a really wonderful sign, um, especially because we're all thinking about decentralization all the time. Um, but it, it really has been thrilling to watch. And I actually poked a couple of the old gang uh, back from Game of Zones days. And we should be on Map of Zones sometime next week. I'm very much looking forward to Agoric being part of that visualization. And really just can't wait to see what we're able to do next um, now that we have IBC enabled and we're connecting with everyone. There's so many cool things that this really brings to our mainnet, the functionality that we're going to have where contracts will be able to send, you know, IBC messages to one another. It's going to be fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, the other big thing that uh, that many people were, lots of people have, have have asked us over the last several months, how do I get build tokens? Um, well, uh, so uh, I'll talk more about you know what Jesse just mentioned, but the the um, uh, the big thing that I think most people are aware of now is that uh, build is now uh, available on the Huobi exchange, which is one of the largest centralized exchanges in the world, and we're one of the first uh, Cosmos tokens to trade on Huobi. Um, they understand the long-term uh, value of BLD, and so we're just we're we're just delighted that now it's easier for people to get into the community as we as we as we and other folks in the extended uh, Agoric and Interchain communities start to deploy tech deploy some of this Agoric technology. So very excited about that. Um, just you know, uh, PSA: the timing of these things is not up to us. We can never talk about it before they happen. It's always up to to uh, to to the exchanges, so you know there's no additional plans for us to talk about here. But we're really excited that that's now possible, um, and in our and so keep an eye out on our uh, various social channels for if and when there are new additions to the ways you can get build. Um, so, uh, but so those now include Quobi, as I mentioned, centralized exchange. And because of the, because we've now joined the IBC gang and because of all the connections, the community set up, we've got bridges to Crescent and Osmosis, as Jesse mentioned, and community members set up pools there. So there is a, there is a pool on Crescent. There is a pool on Osmosis. Currently it is in the Osmosis frontier section, um, you know, growing in liquidity where it'll gradually, uh, where it'll eventually graduate to uh, the, the main page. Um, and we're excited about uh, um, uh, our work with uh, those two groups and the others that that, um, uh, that that validators have been setting up connections for. So, so uh, plenty of places now to uh, get BLD, and you know, as we head towards um, the future technology on Agoric here. So, uh, let's jump into that. So, I as as people know, um, we will be launching soon. Uh, our JavaScript stack with the first of IST. Uh, I think Roland's ar Roland is around that can talk a little bit about how that's going to happen. Yeah, th thanks, Dean. Um, so, you know, I, as anyone that's been coming to our community calls knows, we've been really focused on the launch of InterProtocol, which is intertwined with the launch of our JavaScript stack. And uh, the big, the big event or sort of news that we have this uh, for this call is that we've decided to, to split that release such that we get IST out uh, much quicker than we would have been able to otherwise. And so we're looking to target an IST um, uh, MVP launch in about a month or so. Um, and so really what that means is is really focused on getting the, the token out the door, allowing it to be connected to external exchanges, introducing it to traders in the Cosmos ecosystem. So if you're on Crescent or on a, Osmosis or doing lending in um, UMI or, or wherever it may be, we want to make sure that we can get IST to those people quickly and get them uh, introduced to it. 
And then uh, on the back end, we'll continue to roll out the rest of the inter-protocol, uh, you know, over the, over the course of Q4, which will really just sort of expand how IST ends up being backed. Um, and so to, to dive into the what the MVP actually is, um, we'll, we're launching with the contract that we, you know, we internally call the, the parity stability module first. And though that contract, and actually it really can be a set of contracts, you can have multiple parity stability modules. Each one of those uh, allows a trade of another stable token for IST. So what that means is that um, users can come in, bring bridged USDC, bridged DAI, whatever, whatever stable token bridge pairs get enabled by the community and governance um, can come in and mint IST to be used on these external exchanges uh, or, or lending platforms. And, and what we'll do is we'll end up likely driving demand for those uh, with incentives and all that um, and, and really allow the token to get out there and trading quickly. Um, so, so, what that really means is that IST ends up starting out backed by stable tokens in the Cosmos ecosystem and then evolves into a volatile, volatile backed uh, token over the course of the full protocol layout, uh, rollout, excuse me. Um, so, you know, the reserve, the automated market maker, vaults, build boost will sort of all follow in, in conjunction in, in, um, in future releases. And we'll, we'll try to sort of schedule those to be regular such that there's sort of consistent upgrades to the inter protocol. Um, and it's also worth mentioning that this is sort of also our long-term goal too, right? So the inter-protocol is not meant to be something that is done at the end of you know Q4 this year. It's meant to continuously upgrade, to add new functions, to add new um, ways of backing a stable token, to add new liquidation mechanisms, um, and, and you know have that happen sort of in perpetuity so it, it grows with the ecosystem and with, with new capabilities as they become available. Um, so really, uh, we're just sort of extending that, and this will allow us to get into market much quicker, uh, and that should be sort of exciting for everybody. It's certainly exciting on this end. Um, so, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, happy to go deeper if there are community questions. Uh, Dean, if, is there anything else you want to add there? Well, I think I want to hear the chant of MVP in the background, right? <laughs> getting, uh, you know, get, getting, uh, getting IST out to the, to, to the connected network is just, is just such the thing that we have been uh, looking forward to see happen uh, for a long time. I do, however, have an important injection from my previous topic, which someone pointed out that, that, that uh, I looked away and um, uh, the, the uh, BLD Osmo pool is now on the main page of Osmosis. So um, uh, community members stepped up, added liquidity, and it and and it uh, it graduated there. So so very very excited about that to have uh, both Osmosis and Crescent pools working, operating. People are being across zones. You know, interchain DeFi is a thing, right? So so very excited about that. So uh, but but looking forward to launching IST, and we will be we we you know getting that out available on these various chains um, for use by the interchain ecosystem is going to be really, you know, it's, it's just, um, I just can't wait. <laughs> yeah, us too. I think, you know, it's really just to interject one more thing is it's really been clarifying on the, on the product and engineering side too. You know, it's been a really helpful focus for us to, to make sure that we've got one very specific thing that we're, we're targeting launching and yep. everything else is sort of ordered behind that, which has been really great. So, yep. um, you know, the, it's been a lot of effort on the engineering side to reprioritize as needed, uh, but that that's all looking good. So really, are targeting the you know in the next month uh, for a launch. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. Uh, yep. So I think I think uh, Jesse is is likely going to come back to talk a little <laughs> bit more security and, and ecosystem. Yeah, um, I think just to just to talk a bit about what's going on in security in regard in regards to our you know big release change, as always. Um, I'm still working on security audits, still working on product security planning and more audit preparation to support all of the launch we have moving forward, um, especially on the uh, MVP of IST front. We definitely have uh, some really exciting opportunities to do amazing, amazing security work. And I'm thrilled to be able to do more of that. As most of you know, we uh, have purple team reviews where we actually audit our own code and we find our own bugs first. Thrilled to have one of those coming up really soon. 
Um, so there will be more updates and more evidence of all of the preparation and um, the defensive work that we're doing on that front. Besides that, um, there's been some really, really fantastic work going on in the community. I mentioned quite a bit of it earlier with, um, with joining the IBC gang and the validators continuing to organize and lead our network into amazing places. Um, we have validator office hours coming up probably the week of the 12th. So I'll be uh, connecting with some folks in Discord and our, our little uh, watering pool that we hang out in. And I will find the right time so that we can be really respectful of the truly global nature of our network. Um, in addition to that, because we have so much growth, we have so much coordination going on, um, we're actually in the middle of building a new Agoric Forum for the entire community. That should be available um, before September 15th, but that is a place where we're gonna be able to talk about all things going on in the ecosystem, but also have a little bit of a better spot to anchor technical discussions, both on the validator front, uh, the security front, and really just everywhere. Um, there's also a new set of inter-protocol Discord channels that we've pulled into the Agoric Discord. That's really exciting, um, particularly because we've had so much amazing talk about IST and stable coins as of late in our, our general channels. If that's a spot that you want to hang out, there's a place where you can um, add an inter-protocol role <laughs> to your Discord um, under Get Roles. And this is something that Peter, our uh, new technical community manager, has been working on. And in addition to that, um, just lots of lots of things we're, we're doing to keep the ecosystem running with friends and um, and keeping our eye on security. Excellent. 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 Oops. Yeah. And I should I should also transition from that, Jesse, where <clears throat> people can follow a lot of our community roadmap updates, um, you know, especially those new to the community are wondering, you know, When's this going to happen? Where where do I find information about this? Um, what what happened in August? Uh, you can do that really easily by just going to agoric.com slash roadmap. Um, so that's a kind of a nice add on to that. Um, and yeah, Jesse, you also noticed uh, noted that you know Peter, community community technical support manager, joined. We um, we also had two new hires uh, on top of that with Brendan, who's the new senior product manager. Um, and Chris, who's our uh, new dev advocate, so we're really excited to have them, and they're they're already kind of digging deep into into their uh, expertise and, and supporting us. So it's really cool to see. Um, yep. And well, I don't, did you want to add anything to that, Dean? Well, I was going to. Yes, you know, the team is growing. There's a lot of work to do to get this. You know, it is, it is a large system. Um, we are, you know, we are building, building and 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 launching many pieces, and it's 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 great work. It's exciting work. Um, uh, uh, you know, but, but it's a lot of work, um, both inside and outside the company. So, so that's, so there's, um, a lot, a lot of people doing a lot of things there. The, 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 and so we're glad to have the help from, from, from these new folk. The other thing I wanted to do is give a quick, uh, DCF update. All of the DCF delegations went out, um, uh, for their, their first round of delegation. Um, and the, uh, proposal for how to, operate the community fund, how to vote on proposals and so forth, um, has um, uh, passed. So the community agreed to that process. Um, uh, uh, we were waiting on funding the community fund for bo both the um, uh, update to the chain that was in progress and is now complete, and for the, that proposal to pass. So the community fund will be, um, will be funded you know, today or tomorrow. Um, and, uh, you know, and the process around that will start now, you know, key thing for that, right. That's really to start enabling other, you know, people who have big, you know, important dApps or software to build for the, um, uh, next, uh, uh for, for the phase two post IST, right. This is a platform for, uh, being able to, uh, program smart contracts and dApps in, in hardened JavaScript. So there are folks working on that now, some of which will be presenting at uh, upcoming events that you'll talk about. Um, but, but you know, people who have projects for that, that's something that the community fund can help with, but also community goods. We've talked about how important IBC is for this. You know, 
Tenderman SDK or, you know, Tendermint and IBC, those are not done. Those are continually evolving, enhancing engineering infrastructure that, you know, you know Agoric leverages and it is a part of that community system. Our community fund is one of the ways that the Agoric ecosystem will be able to give back and support the features that Agoric will need going forward. And so those are some of the uses that, 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 that you know, we see going forward with the community fund, but that's really up to the community. So a big part that, you know, build holders will be able to do with this is, you know, participate in the discussions for guiding how those funds are spent um, and also contribute build, right? If there's particular things that are community activities that you think are important um, and you've got staking rewards or tokens unlocking or what have you, you know, uh, um, step up with proposals, run them through the 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 process that the community agreed to, and uh, and or contribute build to support these activities. So so community is uh, uh, you know community will start to have uh, um, additional resources to be able to wield to make uh, uh, to make all this stuff happen. So I'm excited about that as well. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Dean. Yeah, and on the note that I you know the I know the inner protocol team has moved up. Um, their monthly community call from November 15th to now uh, November 8th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific. That's uh, 16.30 uh, UTC. So I'm sure they'll make announcements about that, but that is, uh, you know, if someone here wants to learn more here, you know, directly from the, the Inner Protocol team on what's going on, um, definitely recommend joining that on, uh, on, um, uh, on the next uh, on the next community call. Um, and yeah, you know, Dean, you also mentioned the events. I, I you know, I, I kind of, I feel like a kind of a parrot at this point, but you know, we are attending Misari. <laughs> we are um, going to have an, a presence there with Agoric. We're really excited for that. Um, you know, if, if folks are there, we, you know, definitely, uh, you know, reach out to us, let us know. We'd love to meet and chat and, you know, we'll have a booth there. So there's great traffic for that. Um, and yeah, I did, I think say November, I actually meant September 8th. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, the other event too, you know, Cosmoverse, Dean, you know, uh, Jesse, we brought this up. Um, but yeah, Medellin, that's September 26th, 28th. Really yeah, excited Cosmoverse, for that one. Be, there will be workshops by by some of the people building yes. on Agoric. There'll be lots more about IST and integrating IST and Interprotocol. Um, there will be, you know, a uh, discussion about about the infrastructure, et cetera, right? That we'll, we'll have a lot of uh, technical conversation there. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, really looking forward to that event. Um, so if you're down there, let us know. Um, and I think I think that's pretty much it. Did I, uh, anyone else want to cover something I might have missed? So a lot of the, I will add one more thing. You know, Jesse talked about the, you know, the validated community and that sort of stuff. A lot of this is happening in Discord on the technical side, right? There's there's lots of people doing a lot of engineering work, you know, that that, that is, you know, it, to build this long term platform that 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 Agoric uh, was launched to create. Um, seeing that activity, you know, there's there's a num number of different test nets for testing different phases of the infrastructure from the full ISD stack down to you know the next version of. Ag zero as we prepare for integrating JavaScript, and so if there are people that are experts in you know uh, uh, performance engineering, validator stuff, that sort of thing, and you're interested in the details of making this stuff happen, you know by all means tune into those to, into there as well. Just seeing the ramp up of, of of that community activity is is great and enlightening as to where 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 people are are putting their energy and time um, uh, to build this thing. So very excited about that. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you, all the speakers. Thank you, all the all the new faces who joined. Um, yeah. So our, uh, I think I think that pretty much covers it. Anthony, you want to? Uh, I, think, I think so. Uh, go well it. done. <laughs> Let's get out of here and get back to work. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining. We're looking forward to uh, to everything going on the next month, and um, we'll we'll announce the next community call and uh, follow us on Twitter if we haven't yet. And uh, have a good day.